<laughs> yo, yo, YouTube, it's your boy Walt, bro. And uh, hey, man, I've been seeing this this video pop up on my uh, YouTube Shorts, bro. And uh, it's this girl, like, uh, it's one of the females that uh, I have a problem with in in this day and age, which is like, you know, a morbidly obese girl with a chunky face that looks like Mr. Potato Head, claiming that she's a ten. And, and, and saying that people should see her and look at her and, and you know, believe that she's a 10 in the same way that she believes she's a 10. I I, no, I didn't watch the full video, and I'm definitely not going to watch all this because this shit is damn near like 50 minutes. I might honestly just watch like 5, 10 minutes of it because I, I just want to see. I want to see what prompted um, what I saw in the video. So I just want to see the beginning of it. Ask everyone to rate themselves on the scale of Chip. one to ten. So let's do that. Look, look, look. Immediately throw up a ten. Immediately a ten. A ten is literal. Oh, no. Immediately Amid themselves on the scale of Chip. one to ten. So let's do that. Look, look, look. Immediately throw up a ten. Immediately a ten. And it's funny because she's clearly not a ten. Like, girl, you got no titties. Like, if you're a girl with no titties, you can't be a ten. A ten is literal perfection. No room for improvement. No room. Lord. Um, Kiko, so she built like a whale lord. Okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Like a ten. whale lord. Did y'all uh. see this dude with a Harlem shake? The ten. Think these are look at the way they just every time she moves. Look at them what big the ass milkers. I don't do none of that. I be vibing. I just be jabbing. I just be vibing. I don't smoke with a soul. I ain't in the street. I don't get acting. Hey, I need to make one of these videos. I'm gonna make one of these. I don't give a fuck. I'm making one of these videos. I'm making, I'm making an intro. Business. I don't sell drugs, to be honest, I'm pretty established We doing drug removal, selling seat malls That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking I want consultation Fat fucking ten Ew. Did this bitch say a fat fucking ten? Bitch, you are fat, fuck So y'all niggas gonna do this immediately? Bro, I know who the jabber the hot chick you are talking about There is a video of her crying So don't listen to whatever she says uh, bro, It's in your DMs Oh, okay, okay. Uh, niggas, bro, niggas not even gonna let me. Her chair, the real MVP, give bro a raise. Bro, we not, we, we just, we gonna, we gonna watch the video or what? What, what come on. Oh, I'm trying to watch this shit. Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, did you see it? Nigga, whoa. Let me see. Did y'all see the? Nigga, what the fuck? Uh... Nigga, did you see it? Nigga, whoa. Did y'all see the fucking chin shaking? <laughs> nigga, no, I didn't see that before. Nigga, did y'all, did y'all see this shit doing a shake? Nigga, how did you not see that nigga, before? her fucking, no. Bruh. She looks this bitch so built like a pelipper. Bro, this did you see that shit? Nigga, the bitch said the whole Nah, hold up, bro. Ain't no bro, ain't no fucking way. Um, Kiko, so okay, we'll start with you. Go ahead. Ten. A fat fucking ten. A fat fucking she ten. She is not fucking a fat fucking ten. <laughs> 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 Fucking ten. <laughs> Everybody knew what was going on. Mad Dog Forty Forty, thank you for the prime nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a comma somewhere in in that statement? Honestly, a I'm fat fucking, fucking ten. <laughs> <laughs> what was said was said. Okay. Yeah. Well, I just want to see what she I said. What I said. Oh, uh, and, and what I'm is she wearing, dude? Why? Why? I don't. This is what I don't understand. Like I've said, I've had the same issue with women like Lizzo. Like, look at you. Like, no cap. Like, look at what. Look at you. Like, you're clearly your body is not the type of body that is like you should be wearing this type of shit. On the scale, okay. I don't get why they say that shit. Ten. Answer Were you in? Hold on. What did she say? She said an eight. So she's the only one that's being real. Okay. Okay. Period. Yeah. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten. Okay. I like her. I I see why she'd say that. I don't. Okay. Ten. I mean, a ten of course. Answer Were you in the same? Were you a ten last time? Yeah, I was a ten okay. last time. Billy Ray. Why? 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 Why did she give her a high five? Dodoria. Because she's like she didn't want to why be the only person there lying hey. to herself. Um. We should have waited till Deborah was back, but. We'll come back to her. I feel like I'm a 6.7. Oh, 
Nigga, what? Why the fuck would you ever say something like that? Wait, wait, wait. Who's six points? Her? We'll come back like her. I said, the cutest one, bro. The cutest girl there is realistic. She understands. Because I look at her and I'm like, like, I think she's the cutest one. But to me, she's like, she's she's a seven max eight. What, uh, to me, she is a seven and a half, eight. And in certain situations, she could be like a, an 8.5 to a nine. Right? Depending on like, uh, you know, just how elegant what she's wearing is. Also, depending on, like, what the atmosphere is and 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 also what her true personality is like. A girl like this could go from 7.5 to, to a 9. Oh, I'm factoring everything in. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's what we talking. I think that I don't think she's even just basing it on just her looks. I think that she's basing it on the fact that she knows that she has room for improvement. Fuck yeah, you exactly. Ever see like that. Everybody's but why got room she... for improvement, right? Like, like you've got room to to improve your personality. You've got room to improve, you know, your confidence. You've got room to improve the way that you you know you see life and the way that you kind of you know walk and, and carry yourself through the world like there are a lot of ways you can improve yourself that will make you more attractive people saying that they're 10 is like them being like oh i have already improved myself so perfect and and you look at them and you're like you guys aren't even in your 20 you're not even in your 30s yet i don't even think these girls are in their mid-20s yet this is the woman that you can you could tell she's probably she's past her mid-20s right this girl right here is like maybe 27 right 26. She's probably around my age. The rest of these girls are young. They're young as hell. She say something like that because she's being realistic with herself, unlike all of you. Definitely. Defi Why would you say Definitely something like that. that? Why would you be honest? Like, come on. Bro. Why would you tell there the truth? There ain't no truth? way. There ain't no fucking way. She got donuts and breadsticks across the stand. Why line. would you not be probably. as delusional as we are? Sickly or overall? <sighs> Oh, I'm factoring everything in. Really? Yes. With everything factored in? <laughs> see? Factoring everything in. You see how they act with yeah. one girl. With everything Isn't factored delusion. in. Her voice. They get her, mad. The way oh, she why wouldn't you rate yourself a 10? Why would she? As men, we, there's not any man in here that would say they're 10. Cool. No, never. You, you don't ever run into men that say they're 10. And if you ever do, that nigga is clearly not being serious. That nigga is probably only saying I'm a 10 because there's some chick out there that's like, nigga, you not, you're not good enough for me, da 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 and this nigga's like, bitch, I'm a 10. I don't know what you're talking about. I disagree with the ratings people have given Do you know off. where the rating skill comes from? It's supposed to be if you line up 10 random men and you ask mm -hmm. them, would you fuck her? And oh. they're- Get the That makes no fucking sense, dude. The rating scale is from 1 to 10. She's saying, do you know where the rating scale comes from? As if you line up 10 men and you're like, would you fuck her? That's where it comes from. It doesn't because then you do not know what the fucking the rating scale is. If I take the first man out of the 1 and 10 men and I'm like, hey, would you sleep with her? And he's like, yeah, okay. Do you know what rating he gave her? Do you know what he thinks she is? Does he think she's a 5 or a 4? No, the nigga said, yes, I would sleep with her. Dude, most men would sleep with the majority of females. It's like, you, if you're a fucking four, this girl right here, you, she's a zero. She's a zero. So no men would touch her. But every other female here, like every other female here, this girl, I think she's like a six. You know, on, 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 on bad days, she's a five, right? On days when she wakes up and she's like, I just woke up like this. And she like, on that funky shit. She's a five. So is every other girl here. On days when they wake up funky, y'all's is five. Most women, when they wake up funky and they don't have all that makeup and shit on, they are five. A lot of niggas don't even like to look at them in those kind of situations because it's like, ugh, you got gunk on your, on, in your eyes, your breath stinks. Like, all these things that women are doing, it's like, it's disgusting. Like, you are no longer, like, you can't be a 10 no more. The moment we see those things, like, 10 is out the fucking window. You can't, you can't win those points back. And so she's here saying, oh, yeah, just because men would sleep with us, this means we're 10. It does not. Most men will sleep with 99% of all women in the world. That's originally where it came from. That's not how, nope. That's what? not how that works. Where did you get the 10 rating scale? Educate me where it came from. That's you know, not how if that you works. know, tell me, just tell me. Think, uh, well, just think about, tell it, me. think about it in two days. I love how she's like, she's like, no, but tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm like, dude, just use common sense. The thing that these guys are all, they're like, dude, that doesn't even make sense because, yes, 
a lot of most guys would sleep. I'm sure most of the guys that you walk, you know, you walk down on the street and whatever. Most of those guys probably would sleep with you. Right. If you ask them, you're like, hey, would you sleep with me? I'm sure most dudes that you ask that would be like, yeah, I would. But that does not mean these guys would stay with you. It doesn't mean these guys would be in a relationship with you. It doesn't mean these guys would get married with you. It doesn't mean that these guys consider you to be a perfect beauty as a 10. It means these guys find you attractive for the moment or for the opportunity. Right. So it, it boggles my mind that she could. She could think that for some reason that equates to her being a perfect 10. That makes no sense. Any nigga would fuck you. A bum nigga would fuck you. Like a bum nigga that's fucked with bum bit, like bum, bum females that are like stank and, and their pussies are dirty. Like that dude would also fuck with you. And realistically, it's not because your ass is an amazing goddess or whatever. It's because you, you gave him the opportunity to. It's just that simple. If a 10 is like a perfect woman, like absolutely maxed out attraction. 10 is supposed to be on physical, it's supposed to be on physical attraction so if we're only. Talking, we're not if supposed we're to talk about physical. personality. So what the fuck is this then? Why the fuck did you not give her a high five when she rated and herself also, a 10? You even knew that. And the, the nigga said, yo, 10 is like perfect. 10 is like, is like just you're gorgeous. And then, and then she goes and she's like, well, 10 is for, is for the physical. It's, it's not personality. Like, as if she thinks she's actually perfect on the outside. Like, bitch, it doesn't matter how you take it. You're not a 10 no yes. way. We're talking just physical attraction. 10 Bro. is like the most attractive woman you could possibly imagine. Yes, it's 10 out of 10 for a reason. Because you're lining up 10 and you're counting how many. Even she like, hold on, now, now you about to fuck me up here. Look at her. She got that face like, nah, okay, okay, now, now you fucking me up. Because, you know, now they're going to definitely say I ain't a 10. She she she, she want to say yo chill out my nigga, you're going too far. <laughs> chill out, bro. That's why. What, what do you mean you're lining up ten? Where like you're lining supposed up to, 10 you're women come into this. No, I'm saying ten men, like or opposite gender of you. I mean, opposite gender of you. You're supposed to be. It's the point is. Where did she learn this? Where where did it come from? Then tell me, tell me where it came from. Oh my god, just, it's like she doesn't even know how to express her. So, so many. I don't get why women do that. Like. They, they lose in the conversation because they don't know how to express themselves in a way that makes sense. So, so when their words just escape them and they're like, oh, fuck, I'm actually not making sense. Then they just get attacked and they're like, okay, well, what I'm saying right now isn't making sense. So, well, you tell me then. How about you tell me where you think it's from? I'm like, bitch, you were just explaining to me. Why don't you finish your explanation? Oh, because you don't actually know what the fuck you're talking about. It's like, like, That's okay, man, what are you, like, if you're a five, then you're, like, very, like, average. Yes. If you're, like, an eight. Because five out like, of ten people would would be with you. No, that's not, that's what, what, that's, that's that's not what it is. Stupid. No, I'm just no, I'm not, saying not, on a... That's so, uh, that's so fucking stupid. Yeah, because five out of ten people would be with you. That makes no fucking sense. That makes no fucking sense, dude. You do not understand if this girl here was not as obese as she is, meaning if she was not as fat flubber as she is, most dudes would still sleep with her. If she was just skinnier, like her face is still butt fucking hurt, most dudes would still fucking hit that. That does not mean that she's a fucking 10. It doesn't mean she's a 9. It doesn't mean that she's a 5. It means that she has a vagina and that in a lot of situations where she's not a fucking giant fucking whale, a bunch of dudes would sleep with her in that situation. That does not make her a 10. Nah, let's check this out. Because, because, ah, uh, bruh. Surface. Um... Um, one to ten scale attractive female attractiveness scale. Okay, a very sophisticated way to rate girls on their looks. A fucking monster forces people leave. Uh, forces people leave the room. Two wouldn't want to poke her with a ten foot pole. Three, you'd only want to communicate over text. <laughs> no, no FaceTime. Four, just plain unattractive. Wow. Damn. 
How is it that number four kind of feels harsher than fucking number like three, two, and one? Um, number five. Average, nothing about her appearance stands out. Yeah, that's about that's about it. Number five is like average, like like she's cool. Nothing really stands out. Like, you know. Like if there was a, a batter chick, I clearly would pick the batter chick over over her, but you know what I mean? That makes sense. Six. The squad would roast you for liking this girl, but not too bad. I don't know, bruh. I feel like that's crazy, because why is number six meaner than number five? Look, like nobody's roasting nobody's roasting you on number five. Why are they roasting you on number six? They're like, your squad would roast you for liking it. Uh, maybe it does make sense, because sometimes squads would roast a nigga for, like, getting with the girl that's, like, she's attractive, but maybe she's, like, you know, really corny or really she's, like, she's, like, um, you know when a girl tries to be controlling and shit and niggas just be, like, roasting them? And I, I would say probably the majority of those girls do live in, in the six. They do live in the six area, so. Um, number seven, decently attractive. Yeah, that, that, that's about right. Number eight, pretty hot. If she doesn't have a boyfriend, she will soon. That is, yeah, yeah. Number eight, pretty hot. If she doesn't have a boyfriend, she will soon. Number nine, one hot piece of ass. Yes. Now number number nine is you are one hot piece of ass. Like number nine, I'm telling you, bro. We have very few number nines in the world. I say in the entire world, bro. There's maybe. Maybe a hundred women that are number nine. That, like, I'm being a... Dude, there's maybe a hundred women that are number nine. Because I don't even think there's, like, 20 women that are tens, meaning perfect. There's none. Like, do you understand? Like, if I was to go through a list of celebrity females, bro, most of them don't reach nine. Most of them are just, like, like Jennifer Lawrence is, like, decently attractive. Some people will find her pretty hot, but... She's de this is where she is. Jennifer Lawrence decently attractive. Angelina Jolie pretty hot. Um um what's her name from from Game of Thrones? The 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 dragon princess lady, Amelia Clark. She's pretty hot, right? Um um what's her name that was in uh Black Widow? Uh something something Pew? Florence Pew or, or Pug, I'm not sure what she Florence Pew she is one hot piece of ass. Florence Pugh is a, she's one of the very few nines that I have seen. That girl, in, when she's dressed, fuck it, when she's not dressed, she's fine as fuck. When she's dressed up, she's a nine. No debate, right? But I'm telling, but you look at this like 10. God's give to mankind. The definition of perfection. Perfection. And you don't even understand, we have very few people in the world, very few people in general, but we're talking about women in the world that fit that? Like, Beyonce fits that. And Beyonce doesn't fit that from looks. She fits that because for some reason people believe she's like a gift from God. Rihanna fits that. Not by looks, because Rihanna got a giant fucking forehead. That forehead knocks some points off. You can't be a 10 with that fucking forehead. I'm telling you. All right, but she's fucking iconic. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of it's kind of crazy to me, man. It's kind of crazy to me. Can't can't do it. Can't finish this video. Yo, it's your boy Walton, man. I cannot finish this video. These girls are ridiculous, and my I'm losing brain cells watching this shit. So let's just end it at uh. Yeah, modern women are delusional. Not really a surprise. I'm glad that we have we have some good women out here, you know, representing. I, I appreciate y'all ladies. We're not going to generalize all females because we saw in this motherfucker there was at least two females that had brains, right, and common sense, and they used it. So we appreciate you girls. It's your boy, Walt. Please like, subscribe, all that shit. Dude, we're on our way to... But 400 and 500, so like, help us get there. Like, subscribe. You know, hit that notey. Make sure you guys are paying attention to our videos coming out, man, because we're, we're making some fire shit. So, appreciate y'all.